everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. I cannot believe I've been doing this for a week now. It is 20 to 5, I've just come out of the shower. I spent the morning just tidying the living room, moving furniture around, doing a bit of work, unpacking from Leicester, and just doing a few boring bits. So I didn't really pick up the camera to vlog, but I did film a few time lapses, so I'll insert them here. but it is 20 to five and in 20 minutes, I'm getting my Christmas tree delivered. I'm so excited for this. As you can see, I moved my dining table, which was here. No, it was here. I moved it to here. So we're gonna put the tree here this year because I just feel like, first of all, I wouldn't have been able to move the two bookcases myself anyway. But in the past, I think we've had it there and even the fake ones that we've had, we always put it there, but there's a radiator back there. And I just feel like if I've bought anyone any makeup bits or like chocolates or just anything like that, it's gonna melt by the radiator. So I figured this was the place to put it and hopefully it will hide some of the crap on the windowsill on the other side too. So this is where the tree is gonna go. We've got all of our decorations here. That's the bag from last year so there's loads of bits in that these are all new bits that i've bought this year so i'm going to go through that in a bit and take the tags off that is for my giveaway winner it's the charlotte tilbury advent calendar but yeah first i'm going to grab something to eat because i haven't really eaten all day and there's no food in the house i woke up early had a headache went back to sleep and so i kind of wasted my morning a little bit and so i didn't have time to go out and do a food shop so there was literally no food in the house and i'm starving so i'm just making some nachos because we had a bit of grated cheese and we've got loads of doritos left over from our Halloween party so that's what I'm gonna have like just as a little snack and then my tree arrives I'll sort out my decorations and I don't know if I mentioned but fantastic services are very kindly giving us another real Christmas tree again this year and also they're sending somebody to decorate it so I just cannot explain to you how happy that makes me because my sister and I did my grandparents tree the other day and while we were decorating my grandparents tree we were like this is the worst part of Christmas like I love wrapping presents I love buying presents I love giving presents, but decorating and undecorating a tree, it's just, I just feel like it's for kids. For me personally, there's just no joy in it until like the final result when it all looks beautiful. And so I'm just very happy that they're sending somebody to do it for me because I don't want to have to do two in a week. <laughs> Okay, well, that's been a bit of a waste of a day. It was so weird because my tree delivery was booked for 5 p.m. and so was the lady coming to decorate it. So she turned up on time, the tree wasn't here. Luckily, Jess is here as well because I was in the middle of like hanging laundry up and stuff like that. And the lady that came to decorate the tree was literally sat here for half an hour and it was just really awkward. And obviously because I was being sent the tree that like, gifted it from Fantastic Services, I don't have like a reference number, I didn't have a contact number. I didn't know what to do. So I kind of emailed the PR to be like, like what's going on. I called their customer services number just to be like, look, I don't have a reference number, but this is who I am and my address. And he was like, we'll get someone to call you back. Somebody didn't call me back, but they called the lady, like her boss or whatever, to be like, oh, the job's canceled, go home. So she was like, what? And I was like, what? I'm still sat here waiting for a phone call. I just tried to call them. I couldn't even get through to them on the phone. And the PRs just emailed me saying they want to like, um, reschedule it, which is a bit annoying because we kind of planned for the tree to be delivered today and Jas even came home early for that. So that is a little bit annoying and I've been moving furniture around and stuff like that all day. I'm not very impressed, I have to say. <sighs> but anyway, this has been another riveting vlog. It was supposed to be all about my tree and how pretty it looks and 
yeah that's not gonna happen oh, i'm so annoyed jas we even went into the garage at like 11 o'clock last night to get all the decorations out yep. i don't have the keys to the garage like we only have one key and it's on jas's set of keys so i thought i'd go and get them before he goes to work today anyway okay um the pr's emailing me with some different options so i might i'm gonna go figure this out and i'll come back today has been such a boring day i feel like i've just done nothing but i feel like i'm also getting a cold and i'm just really tired i can't stop yawning i've had two coffees already today but um jess and i've just come out for dinner and we're picking mini me up we're all gonna go out for dinner at our favorite like vegan cafe nothing fancy because i look quite trampy today and i think we just want some food to be honest not like a fancy meal so that's what we're gonna do and i think she should be here any minute now Look who it is! Me. <laughs> Long time no see! Yes, I've been ill and I'm still ill if you can't what? tell by my voice. Oh, are you? Oh. I, am, I think I'm getting ill oh, again for the third time. Good, you deserve it. <laughs> She's so mean to me. <laughs> I love filming you. You're I so can't cute. go for the rice anymore. No. <laughs> Did you miss me? No. She's such a liar. I just lied about being ill. <laughs> <laughs> That's believable. <laughs> so cute. You are not camera shy. Can I get lettuce? Bunny can tell me. Did you miss me? <laughs> she did. Oh, loads, yeah? yeah? Loads, of course you did. Little chicken. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the reason well. behind it was uh, Nish was expecting a Christmas tree from a fantastic service, and there's two parts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's a two-part service really. Because that's what the first time a Christmas tree in Bloomberg, a real Christmas tree, and this was a And then the woman, who is supposed to be this lady, I call her Victoria for now, is supposed to come and decorate afterwards. But oh. she came. She came she without the tree. Yeah, she came without the tree. Yeah. <laughs> so there's two sitting there, and there's all come over. She's like, I look at the ceiling. Half an hour. Yeah. Because <laughs> the tree was. These guys were supposed to deliver the tree at the same time as she came to decorate the tree. Oh, so she, she turned up. She came to the decorator, yeah. Fantastic services. Well, I won't call them fantastic services at this rate, because they were fantastic at their service. <laughs> so, yes, that is how my day went. Wow. It was amazing. She got some coffee out of it. I wanted to be the amazing woman. <laughs> you wanted to be the amazing woman? Yeah. I didn't buy you a coffee. Let's make everyone a coffee. <laughs> didn't know my granny was here. Granny is here, which one? Oh, that's such a cute picture. <laughs> such a little rude boy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <Rude girl. laughs> <laughs> Hi, so basically, what do you think? No, I, that's so wrong. That's so Start wrong. again. Go on. I'm trying to spot if there's no one here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We're now going out for dessert. Um, which is a first because we don't really do dessert, but it's very busy in here. Do you think we'll get a table? Very, very busy. Yeah, Damn. Really but there's also peanut butter yeah. chocolate. I just read that. I was like, why is she not pointing to that? I've never had it. You never, you've never had it. Oh <laughs> my god. I always get these two because I always come in with my friends, and my friends always like these two. They always want to share. Oh my god. See, I told you. What a 
Monday we just got in after dinner and dessert that was so filling none of us could finish dessert Anusha's been there before we haven't because we're not really dessert people but today we kind of fancied it it's just been one of those days like I'm so disappointed we didn't get the tree my living room looks so weird now that I've moved all the furniture I might put up some of the other Christmassy decorations we've got like um, a little snowman couple that we've had for a few years it's quite cute and maybe some like tea light holders and things like that I have no idea what's inside the bags but we were just trying to plan out our day for tomorrow because I really wanted to go to a Christmas market but not one in London like I really don't like Winter Wonderland I think it's completely overrated and it's just so crowded and it's full of like teenagers it's not the best We've been to Southbank so many times, so I kind of googled Christmas markets outside of London and the closest one I found that was in like the top 10 was Oxford. So over dinner we were like making plans to go there and stuff like that um, and actually my cousin Serena is currently in Oxford and she's due to come home tomorrow. Her parents were going to go pick her up so I said to her, oh well if we come to Oxford we can just come and pick you up and then drop you home. That would have made total sense but when we went to drop Minnie and me off home today um, I mentioned it to her dad just to let him know that we might go tomorrow and it will just save him a trip to pick Serena up and he kind of googled it after we left and he's just texted me let me read you what he wrote because it was quite funny yeah so he's just texted me saying I've just looked up the Oxford Christmas market as I wondered if the few wooden huts I walked up and down for 20 odd minutes was the market it is and I didn't think it was particularly exciting there are huts selling pricey Christmas trinkets cheeses sweets mulled wine and that's pretty much it so I was like you know what we're not gonna bother like there's literally no point in driving <laughs> just over an hour to get to Oxford and then just over an hour back just for like that so I have absolutely no idea what we're doing tomorrow but I'm gonna end this vlog here I might make a start on editing it I've got loads of laundry on my bed that I need to put away which is always fun and loads of clothes that I washed earlier that I think I've hung out to dry so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm also gonna go and find a website where I can like pick my giveaway winner because I want to do it obviously fairly and like a random number generator type thing so I'm going to go and do that so yeah I'm going to stop rambling and end this vlog here but thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day eight I think <laughs> bye